So a lot of you have noticed, I got an engine here and an engine here. And clearly, we're not in a garage. So here's a few tips that I want to share with you about how you go about doing this inside of a home, right? I'm going to tell you. So what I'm looking to do in this video is give you a few pieces of advice on how to go about using your home for doing things that it's really not designed to do. And basically, step number one is just making sure you have designated areas for things. Let me explain. Right here is a designated work area. Cardboard on the floor. We have stuff kind of strewn about here. Carburetor rebuild. We got the engine getting torn down. Pistons are going to be coming out here. We got this on the floor. This whole area is work. Things are happening. Tools are around. Toolbox right here, right? This is an active, being used area. And as such, it's going to be the messiest area we have. That's why cardboard on the floor. And notice these floors are, you know, they're tile. It's going to be easy to wipe up. Doesn't matter how much gunk gets on them, you can still just wipe it off. It's not carpet. Then we move over to the parts pile. All the parts and stuff that in storage, basically. Again, cardboard. Okay, we got manifold there. We got a head here. A head that's not done anything to it. Flex plate. I mean, all these valves. That, which I'm going to get to in a different episode. Pistons. I mean, all this stuff is just here. It's parts. It's in storage. Storage area. They're not necessarily nice. Not necessarily clean. But they're there. Keeping these two different work areas kind of separate, even though they're in close proximity to each other, they're still separate. Keeping them separate will ensure that the work stuff doesn't get mixed with the storage stuff and it's not just one big pile. There are two separate organized entities. Now we move on to this, the finished pile, or should I say the clean pile. Everything over here is clean. It's not going to make a mess. Crankshaft finished, engine painted, right? It's clean, not messy, tall. There's the other head. Remember we had the head over there, all gnarly and dirty? Well, this one's clean and it's painted. That's why it comes over here, right? We have a Krager. Okay. This stuff is stuff that is finished. It's not going to make a mess. If you brush up against it, it's not going to get you dirty. That's why it has its own designated area. So, I mean, that's kind of how I keep things a little more organized around here, right? With all the different modes and stages of progression going on with all these different builds, this build, that build, everything, right? Now, tools. Any tools you're working with, obviously, right here front center, right? You got them on the table, we got them on the floor, we got them you know, everywhere, kind of strewn around here, around this work area, okay? It's that way I can just stand right here, reach for a tool, use it, gotcha. It's unrealistic to clean all this stuff up before you get the job done. That's why you got to have, you know, all the stuff right here for you. But once you do have it all done, you have to have a place to put everything, okay? We got paints, we got miscellaneous stuff up here, all the hard tools down here, sockets, okay? So we have a place to put the tools when we're done with the job. Because once I'm done tearing this thing apart, what's going to happen is I got my stands right there. I'm going to put the stands on it, going to flip it up around, going to shove it in this corner until I'm ready for it to go to a machine shop. Once it's Ready to go to the machine shop. It's already got the stands on it. I just wheel it out that door, load it into the back of the, you know, daily, and take it down there. The efficiency. Okay. So that's how I go about doing it. I want to hear how, the, how do you go about doing it. Post it in the comments if you got something kind of similar going on. Oh, and I almost forgot the most important part. You got to hang up all your cool stuff, you know, in a display area where you can see it. You know, steering wheels, carburetor parts, pistol grips, gauges, 
patches, stickers, gaskets, shift knobs, right? At whoa. What do we have here? Is it a Iron Horse New Guys Garage YouTube sticker? Holy buckets it is. Goodness gracious, now I feel like a real YouTuber. Look at that. There's a little mini me in there. I'm cruising around. Looks like I'm jumping through the air with this thing. Now, while I have these, I'm not exactly sure how to get these to you if you happen to want these, right? But I believe we're going to try it through my Facebook page first. Uh, a link will be in the description for the Facebook page. If you can message me on there, we can maybe work out exactly how to go about getting these to you. 99 cents. Dirt cheap, right? I have about 44 of them in stock right now. Just to see if anybody would want a little, little mini me, you know, floating around, right? But, that's it for real this time. I'll catch you next time.